Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Carmenian Chaos, episode 12 of the Dungeons and Dragons show. Today, hopefully, we'll be hitting the prize fight bout of the century, the unnamed adventuring party against the, the undead warlord Valkyrie. Yeah, I've been waiting for it for a long time. Try to say in the WWE voice. No. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> oh. Oh god! Uh, We've got four scrawny weaklings against eight thousand year old muscular terror. Um, it's all about the promo. <laughs> Jordan cheats and shoots him up a gun. <laughs> it's just the scene from Indiana Jones where he comes out with a scimitar and he's like, <laughs> get like crazy, and then he's just <laughs> and walks away. <laughs> okay, excellent. Last time, Jorn did some recon in the woods, which resulted in Tallow running off for safety as they were discovered by an alarm spell. The professor passing out after entering a trance and attempting to enter Valkyrie's camp, being collected by unknown emissaries, and Jorn entering a dream state without sleep, which transported him to, the province. to his memories. So he was asleep, not asleep. He was in the realm of dreams, technically. Ah, uh -huh. like physically transported. Yes. Well, your ethereal energy, mm -hmm. like, okay. Technically, it's your arcane pattern, which is kind of like this world's equivalent of a soul. Uh -huh. It is your connection to magic and the magical elements of the universe. That part of you, your ethereal self, was transported there, which pretty much left your body uninhabited. My arcane patterns, triangles or squares. That would be depend on your personality. I'd say octagons. Octagons, oh, I like it. Mine's trapezoid. Has a lot of sides. <laughs> yes. A lot, of, a lot of angles in that character. Um, <laughs> mine's an you can say it's diamond. pretty edgy. An uncut. Wow. <laughs> uh, the other three members finally went to the meeting at Hardhaven Castle. Where they I get it. Told telepathically. The meeting. Oh. What? <laughs> what? It means word. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna go to a bloodbath soon. It's gonna be. <laughs> well, what's this? Uh, as you go there, you follow a trail of flickering lights to a secret entrance to the house. Except it has been blown in and destroyed. The wreckage of of zombie hordelings with strange arcane apparatuses strapped to their chest. Dis partially disintegrated zombie maids from. Uh, from the radiant light. Sorry, the vampire maids. Um, a conversation is overheard by what seems to be two very large gentlemen from Valkyrie's core. And the reunite. Uh, and then reuniting Jorn Cinderheart with the rest of the party as he has been shackled to the wall in a secret dungeon. And in that room, the eldest daughter of the Austin Vent family. Also, a full fledged vampire waits for someone to rescue. The party obliges. Felix feeds her his blood because he's just metal like that. Um. Help them out if they're trained up. They might be helpful later. Um. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not trying to go Helsing, but like seriously, this is Helsing Ultimate. <laughs> um. Moving on, uh, they help her, she is reconstituted in some form, Jorn loses a stick of dynamite, and it was dumb. They are prepared to deal on paper. Really? <laughs> no! Where's that? No, it wasn't! Blown up. No, it wasn't! As it was, circumstance had it, it would have been fortunate if it went off and you were there. Fortunate? <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm 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 gonna consist with the latter, the the former. As okay. Long long story short, don't give your players dynamite if you don't want them to. Be unstable, stupid. unstable dynamite. Huh. Okay. I still have a lot of this fire, just so you know. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. Shouldn't have given me that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a mass disenchant on all of your magic items. That will my power. Uh, now ready to head upstairs into the rest of Hardhaven Castle. <laughs> the party has staircases in front of 
Pillow. You are standing in the dungeon. What would you like to do? Jordan's going to look at what was the name person? Eastland. Uh, Eastland's going to. Oh, he's going to look at Eastland and it all like. <clears throat> to your best recollection, where would Belkadak be? He's in, he's in the throne room. I, I've said that several times on Very well, then. <laughs> he is gonna... Would you like to lead the way? I am still very badly injured. Can one of you at least step in front of me? I can get I'll, I'll, I'll be right with you, too. Okay. So Felix and Jorn are side by side. Like she's in the middle of you guys both. I'll say I'm 30 feet from Jorn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Lucilla. Yeah. And you're 30 feet back. Yeah. Okay. The skeleton. So, a rogue is actually being a rogue now. Okay. <laughs> Only when shorts in the party. You can't see. Yeah, yeah. I need my No, there are just lights in the castle already. It's yeah, not like completely dark. I hear the vampires might just be completely dark. They have help that need to see. Not all vampire castles are just full of vampires. Well, I'm not saying that. Return <laughs> 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 Yes. You kind of okay. want the castle to be ominous. You you want the you want the you enemies. To that's be, that's why you don't give them the help light. You let them summer out, and and the one time someone speaks into your castle, it's like ah oh, yes, ominous. <laughs> Welcome to the manor. Um, <laughs> oh, Henry, <laughs> you step out into the hallway and look down back to the left, the right, back towards the wine cellar that you came in from. Uh, down the hall, you see that staircase leading up, and the other door on the left side. So, I'm home. Bless you. Which path do we take to get to the... Those stairs will lead to the kitchen. Okay, and the stairs to the throne room that you... And uh, the... The... The stairs to the throne room are accessed. Third floor. We need to get up to the third floor first. Um, if we just go up those stairs and then walk past uh, through the kitchen, they should be right ahead of us. Um, do I recall which way the? Uh, they went up the stairs. They did go up the stairs. We should be careful because that is the way the two men, the generals, I presume. That so I will say the first one with the red hood. He is about like twelve feet tall, and he is wide, like Goliath kind of thing, a or bit bigger. Big, bigger, so more giant, half giant, half giant. Fun for the meta ness. His size is large. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I kind of figured as much. Yeah. The other guy, normal human size. I still want his mask. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very intriguing mask. Yes. Uh, do you want to go up the stairs? <laughs> uh, as we're moving, as we're going further and further, I'll get closer and closer. This is yeah. becoming more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, let's hear the bad news. All of you make stealth checks. I remember you have disadvantage from armor. I also have disadvantage from armor. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Like it. Yeah. it doesn't help that. Nah. Not good. 12. 13. 26. 26. 3 with a natural 1. <laughs> 17. Look at his face, just 17. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just chilled the party. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What like room on, is the Gore Cauldron in? Oh, is it? Let me start. So, where is it? 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 Oh, oh, patron, could you please help me with my stupidity? <laughs> Your patron, oh god, call. nobody can help you with that. It's way too big. <laughs> Who's talking? No. Who's making this? this? Somehow, somehow. Yeah, that, I, I'm blaming it all on him. <laughs> Those rooms are adjacent to each other. Oh shh. Felix, could you just walk a, maybe a bit slower, or... Climb, 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 clim
in front. Yeah, they are literally in front. Yeah. If they get caught, we just walk over. You want me to take the lead? What's the bonus that you know these two? Disadvantage. So to make it clear, I said how bonus. AC is 16. 16. <laughs> AC is 16. <laughs> what's, your, what's your bonus? <laughs> Are you proficient in heavy armor? Right, you're paladin first. Yeah, so I literally have proficiency with every yes. weapon and every armor. So to make the guns, um, to make it out, never said clear. There. You said every oh. weapon. Is it Light, medium, heavy armor, shield, simple, and material and martial weapons. So that general base. Yes. Yes. To generally make it clear, we're just playing Castlevania now, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So are there any obscurely placed platforms we can just like jump on? No. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Um, as you walk into the kitchen above, you pass by, you, you kind of come out of a stairwell. And next to the stairwell you see that it's these two metallic ovens that glow kind of faint blue light inside of them. There's a fire pit in front of you with various cookware appliances over top of it, and then two countertops made for preparation. You see a door to your right, a door to your left, and then an open area going straight forward in front of you, where you see a couple of beds closing up chests. What did she tell me? You're just going to let her bed the entire way? Might as well. Might as well. Might as well. I mean, we, we, already, we have this... We have this vampire on friendly relations. Who's the royal? I'd rather not get on her bad side by going through stuff. Okay. Jorn is in a story, though. I have no idea what his plans are. Just follow through the next room. The next is um, the living area for the help and the staircases. Just look over. At least there are staircases. Uh, you follow through beyond that doorway. Uh, you get to another set of stairs. I will have you make another stop. Check as you go for guidance. On me? Yeah. You're not. <laughs> Clearly. So. 13. 13. 15. 15. Okay, sorry. Once more. 13. 13. 4. <laughs> what? Guidance? 2 and 2. 15. 15. Look, Felix, play. Oh, oh my God, let's do it. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Oh, let me open this chest. I mean, if you didn't. You didn't. You, you didn't. <laughs> no way. Did, is it a one? This is a natural two plus six, which still only puts me at eight. <laughs> and your average is about ten, which means you guys succeed. <laughs> but don't get to using the cool stuff. I'm gonna have to just to take off my fucking armor. Do you want, you want your dice? I'll give you a major armor. Do you'll be equal. Oh, wait, I was, I was at the wrong floor. <laughs> we didn't need to do that yet, so we'll do it again in a hot minute. I'm gonna take my armor off, because god damn! What does major, so major armor is? 13 plus X. Literally 16. Yeah. And that's an 18 for spell fail. Yeah. Does it look? What does it look like? It doesn't look like that. Okay. You're, t you're taking the time to take off your chainmail? I'm literally taking off my chainmail. That, this... well, that takes about 10 minutes. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, we can do stuff in 10 minutes. What would the rest of you like to do while Felix is taking off his chainmail? Take a rest. You can't <laughs> take a short rest. Long rest. Cannot take a short rest in 10 minutes. So we're just gonna lie down like whatever was ahead. Like we're basically heading through a room towards like the next. Yeah. next you, you come into right. a stairway. You see another long hallway, which seems to lead to another area that is filled. You are pretty much going through the back works of the castle that typically only the uh, the servants and working people of the right. castle would see. So it's mainly like storage areas and areas for preparation. The one that you see ahead of you, through a long thin hallway after this staircase, is filled with various bits of furniture that require repair. There's various amount of carpentry tools and things out laid out that they have been using to like shave down wood where stuff is splintered to reshape legs to mold like new replacement uh, door handles and such from what it means he's gonna just try to seek me and identify any like hostels like you know, uh you see no one in that room no one in the room all right drone store is just gonna wait for the rest of them to catch up yeah. 
Um, ten minutes. Yep. Is the vampire with us? Yes. I am having conversations with me like vampire. I mean, at least she's more friendly than somebody. Mm, so the count goes to three. The what? <laughs> um, this time. This time goes to three. Oh, because you used Matrix? Yeah. Yeah. Felix. Wait, didn't you already cast it on your soul? I used it on you. Yeah. Oh. It's so not concentration. It just works for eight hours. Yeah. Oh! Same with eight. It just lasts for eight hours. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Sorry, but I just continue doing this. Uh, Felix. Oh, you're taking off your armor. Yes. Clang, <laughs> <laughs> clang. Uh, um, I, I just wanted to... Let you know, she's kind of talking a little more quiet just yeah. so the vampire doesn't it, it, try it's not... to listen in. It's probably possible, but... Continue. <laughs> <laughs> the one roll he gets like a 20 on. <laughs> He's not saying. Um, so, I think I'd, uh, I can mention this to Ariana. Um, now that Jorn's here, you're a bit more... Or sorry, now that Jorn's... Not here, not with us. I feel like that I should tell you that I, I don't know if you were able to figure it out, but Vengeance isn't my real name. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm too? It's not a common. It isn't a name somebody gives to a child. It is a. What do you say? Title. Oh, well. Honey, she's so beautiful. What should we name her? <laughs> <laughs> a name only a father would love. <laughs> Especially the father sitting there, like, the, like you will be named Vengeance. You will avenge my family. Well, you can, like, into the whole monologue. Like, if you are willing to give me your actual name, that is entirely up to you. Well,. I thought it would be better for you to know, since that I had originally thought you were rather, how do I put it, scary. Understandable. But you seem, you seem like a nice person. I'm just thinking of like Paragon said, la la la. What is Paragon <laughs> going at as she says that? I mean, Paragon's oh, no. heard the Hornel speech before. They, they got it absolutely correct. Well, Paragon is like, <laughs> Everything you're hearing is slightly muffled, because you imagine in an ethereal sense, he has his hands over your ears, just going, na 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 He is terrifying, but he is also one of the most childish people that anyone can be. No. Yeah. I should fucking know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> in your notes. Or are you still doing this originally? Yeah. I did fix it. Uh, well, my real name is Mary. Just try not to use it so loosely. That actually makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, but alright. Yes, you sir. are not the. You are not the vengeful type. That name makes a lot more sense on how you act. Well, I completely disagree, but. You yourself. would you. And after that, once I put my cloak on and we start moving again, I'm going to write in my book again. Okay. Uh, Her being behind me can probably clearly see that I'm writing the book. Yeah. Yes. As you walk. So I'm just preparing here from. You're not walking from the book. You're all just moving forward still, where I can do still and tell you to go. Yep. I trust her. So funny. Got it. Wait, what did you say? She's gonna trust. It's gonna be so funny. Oh, absolutely. Uh... NPC Carter me. <laughs> Um, it's Carter, what do you expect? Every DM one would expect. <laughs> yeah. 
You walk down the corridor into the room filled with furniture. You see there are actually four separate hallways leading you. There are two more in one wall, one across from you, and one to the left. Take a left here, another left into that hallway, and then there should be the final staircase that leads upstairs. Just be careful, that will end up in my, um, will end up in our lab twice. They're a little more naturally hostile. Naturally, as in you don't want other people in there for fear of discovering secrets kind of thing? As in don't touch anything, it's either unfinished or possibly dangerous. Understood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana, it is a laboratory. You do experiments, you figure stuff out, you have you make different things, you know. Or you take a laboratory. Not all one of them is enchantment, one of them is purely spell research, another is a little more family specific. So, again, a variety of things. Are you guys paying attention to like, the layout of the, of the places you're going on? I, I, am, I am going at them. Part of you is a researcher. <laughs> All of you make perception checks when you watch walk through the place. I'm gonna say that and do Oh god, that sucks. Oh wow, that's really good. Eleven. Eleven. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Sixteen. No, Sixteen. <laughs> um As you guys walk into the main hallway, you see the three separate doorways in the hallway, one on the same side of the chair, and from two across from you. You see another staircase leading upstairs towards the third floor down to your left. You see another staircase going down to your right. Across the walls here, you see various family portraits of all of them at different stages of life. Uh, all of them look the same. Yes. And I did try to see what's on the vision portrait. Is one of them. Hmm. Um, you see one of the portraits is of two women. One of them uh, is presumably... In this portrait, there are no vampiric features whatsoever, but one of them is the woman you saw in the throne room sitting with uh, Tosalef, Tosalef uh, Austin Ben the day before. You did not get her name. Uh, she is... Sorry, I have to look up information on what people look like here. All the fun stuff. No, the only person I saw in the vision. Not the fun. There is two women in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> one of the women in the throw room. One of the women in the throw room. Without the vampiric. Who had feature. who has no vampiric features. However, you see her standing. Where is it? <laughs> Did I accidentally remove? No, there is. <laughs> oh, he's coming back, Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just check what my computer temperature is sitting at? Or what is he that? Uh, it's in the app I opened. The little green thing. It doesn't feel very hot. What does it say? 69. Okay. It just... <laughs> <laughs> 69 you see them with a, a, a soft, light brown uh, wood elephant skin, no skin. Uh, you see you're standing there with this very slightly brown uh, um, wood elephant skin, these greenish emerald eyes um, that kind of just... Just by looking at the painting, you can almost just smell springs. Uh, the woman standing next to her, you recognize as the one who got beheaded by the undead marauder you saw through the eyes of. So you, for all intents and purposes, witnessed yourself decapitating this woman. Just 100% clarify what you're seeing. Uh, she has very fine, like, platinum-y white hair. Um, light skin with tons of freckles and reddish hues, very flush person. She has these soft, 
pale gray eyes as well. Is there a name under there? Uh, it says, uh, I cannot read the name. <laughs> ah, the struggles we all bear. <laughs> it says, Mos- uh, Lady Mosirlin Austin Vent with Lady Lysaline. Again, I can't read my own <laughs> With Lady Lysaline. Uh, that's the one name. Yeah. She's just gonna stab. Yep. Not her. She's just gonna stab. Yep. That's just gonna stab. Uh, so me being the friend, not noticing that, I'm going to walk up to the laboratory mm-hmm. with your role of perception collectively. As you get towards the stairs, you hear crackling and slight screeching from the upper level upstairs. And you hear just the faint screaming of, Why won't it open? Do I recognize that voice from Dreamer? Yes. The guy who was downstairs. Cool mask. (laughs) Thank you. so people. Right, so are we like uh, moving ahead still so, um, through yeah. the laboratory? All right, when, when, I, when I hear that... Well, you hear that at the staircase leading up to her mm. laboratory. That is mm, one of the people I saw. He said he's a dream of sorts. Let's see. Stone mask? Yes. Probably Bell. No, I don't think so. You sure? The fact that they were talking... Kind of loosely, and more ref- not. It didn't really seem like it, so I'm going to say no. But who the hell knows? Sounds like in in, in you know. all honesty, I think Valkyrgak would probably have this guy as a mage, and he being the throne, which is where we're heading. But we have to pass his associate, so cautiously go up the stairs, and he's, he's going to look at the vampire. There. General description. Vampire, is, I don't well, think the vampire is with us. Yeah, she, they are. They're guiding us. Yeah, the vampire. Oh, they're guiding, guiding us. Yeah. Kind of, the, the way she said that, I thought she left. No, so no, she's she's, she's been walking with you the entire time. Yeah, Jordan's gonna look at her. It's like general description. What does Falcon Cat look like? Oh, tall, uh, about eight to nine feet, large, black armor, head covered in spikes, uh, visor coming down the front, glowing red eyes. Two glowing at the right eyes? Yes. Well, it's more of a slit in the front that just kind of animates. It is not the mage. That portions of his armor are kind of bulked out from... I have no idea what, just force and... Mm. Blunt instruments. Then we We need to get past this mage. We need a... Stealth attack? Kind of, <laughs> kind of looking oh, over to the rogue of the group. Oh, 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 oh. You're looking around, you know, it's like, I'm not there. I'm still standing at the boat. Am I there? I don't know. You said you were no, right to the boat. Yeah. yeah, so... Um, where is Arena? I don't know where Ariana is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bury myself in tomorrow. I thought I saw her looking at some... Wait, did I see her looking at some things or no? Yeah, we're 30 feet behind her. No, well, no, they, they closed gap with them. Um, Are you in the front now? Did you move to the front? Like, I'm oh. with them, but I don't want to be in the front. So I don't if you broke off to stay painting, you were all kind of close together. I'm pretty sure you would have noticed that. You haven't like gone up the stairs yet. You can no, just see the okay. stairs going up and you can hear the screaming from above. Last I saw she was looking at some paintings. But that was that far back, right, DM? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not that far back. No, it's it's like in the court. Like if you guys turn around, you can see them staring at the painting. She's right there. 
出すって。How far away approximately? Ariana? Yes. What do I do? 30 feet? I'll just blast. <laughs> no, I'm, th I'm thinking because, like, I don't want to, like, loudly call her to, to us so we can continue moving. Alerting the palace of our presence. Oh my god, I walk up to Ariana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you walk up to Ariana. That's sneak why attack. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He like said we needed sneak attack. I'm just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> I execute orders. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'll just walk up to yeah. Arena expecting Arena to notice me. Then you don't. <laughs> yep. Alright, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, um, I know, but I started it in season I, one. This is the most fun I ever had. Thank Are you I'm sorry? Never mind then. You're welcome. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll go up to Ariana and I'll say, or I'll uh, just tap on the shoulder. Are you still there, Ariana? Uh, well, we're just gonna go up the stairs and do a stealth attack. Um, so you should probably come along. Is there something wrong? It's not. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Why are you smiling? No reason. Um. Okay, well, I mean, we, we still have some time if you want to just take a moment. Yeah. Right? I'm sure you understand what's going on. Well, I'll tell Felix. I'm going to have you guys all make another stealth check and if you're taking a moment, that's a lot of these things. That's a bad one. <laughs> oh, no. we're, we're getting done. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, we're getting noticed. So I rolled 16 after the disadvantage, so a 16 plus, so dirty 20. Dirty 20? 24. 24. Natural 1. Oh, how? <laughs> <laughs> I told you we're getting noticed. Carter, please don't roll a natural 1, or 2, or 3, or 4. Your dice are just bad. Thank you for noticing. You want I'm using ones? I'm, yeah, you just heard. Yeah, I'm yeah, rolling one, advances this whole time and I somehow keep getting good. Nora. <laughs> These just match my character, so. What? You don't come back from doing that one. <laughs> no. That's why I said we're getting. <laughs> once I heard Nora say that one, like, we're getting noticed. I need to look up the list of one walk spells. I oh, bet, Carter, you rolled like a two, and you're like, all right, now you rolled the two net ones, come on. Oh, no, I rolled a 14 plus six, which means I got oh, a okay. 20. If you also had got above a 20, I would let that go. Yeah. I mean, like, that, no. Kind of like, dirty 20, over 20, and yeah, I understand yeah, that. If that like, was over 20, I, I let the nat one go, but second just, nat one, I'm sorry, like, that is out. I'm just, like, making armor with a mage armor, or making noise with a mage armor now? Like, what? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just, just, like... Wooshy oh, magic noises. noises. <laughs> 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 Alright, so you are very welcome. <laughs> Waiting while Carter decides how to kill us. Oh, bless. It's warlock, though. Like, yeah, he said what warlock spells? Like, oh, bless. <laughs> it's a warlock, there are no other spells. And you're a dev. I have some spells for death. That's a ninth level spell. No, I don't think that's. Well, I think I might be getting power word kill for power word stone. Hello. So, as you spell. are all sitting there waiting, feel it's kind of curious what with what the hold up is. You walk over to stand next to Arian. Arian. Something within you compels him to reach out and just touch the fur of him. Mario. Just absently from him. And the painting falls from the wall and lands on Felix's <laughs> foot. <laughs> <laughs> Startled from out of the blue, you, you, you yelp a little. 
<laughs> We're not, together. You're not quite sure. Is it time to get going? It's gonna take things. You are you are uncertain whether you're nose well, for the most. Actually, how big is the painting? It's oh, it's 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 like it, it, it's it's like on a wall of a very wealthy person's house, and it's like a solid metal frame. It's like a five foot by like five foot painting. Like it. Oh, that's. It's. It's thinking like a little like. No, it's no, it's it's like it's probably like fifty pounds of like oh, frame I mean, landing on his foot. Think like, of classic royalty where they have the giant painting. Like it's like a gilded like frame with yeah, like I see. oodles of metal. Like it is. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not like the. Plastic teeny tiny little frame you bought at Michael's. <laughs> like it is. It is. We are rich. We are going to show off our yeah. wealth. You aren't sure whether you're noticed or not, but you do hear the noises from upstairs stop, and then you begin to hear a slight. <laughs> and then you. Feel darkness cover the room around you. These inky green and purple tentacles all start writhing out from around the walls. I believe you're all standing within 40 feet of each other. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, like, you said Ariana was upstairs and was the... 30 feet from us. Yeah. And I the walked over at the bottom of the so, stairs. So, yes. Yeah. We're all in the same kind of room. But it was Ariana and Felix, and then and then they are close together themselves, and Did they were all come, within. No, court. vengeance came then, back to us, and then waited. Uh, yeah. So I. It, it, was, it was Jordan. It was Jordan and the vampire. Two, right now. Because the, the vampire. Right there. Wait, do you still have light cams? Uh, they said there was light, so I went up fast. Okay, go. There would be the natural light of the mansion. You all also feel your vision vanish. Jorn! Yes? You cannot see. Alright. You have taken five damage. Yep. You do not know what's going on. Dynamite. Jorn is like, would he still generally recognize what spot he was in the stairs before everything went dark? Yes. You were like standing at the foot of the stairs. You have also seen the professor cast this spell. Mm -hmm. So you're not 100% unfamiliar. Except when he cast it, Humble's arm erupted out of the ground. From the does he would he recognize that it probably has like a set range of effects, like Yes. So Jordan's going to try assuming because he probably heard the sound coming, it was probably cast on there. Yes. He's going to try to just kinda of like with his carefully make his way up the stairs, but he's gonna have like his hand guiding him so yeah. he doesn't trip and fall. Um so I'm gonna say you move half movement to make sure you don't fall yeah. down. But that is enough to get you out of the range. You begin to see again, and you see right behind you, staring down the stairwell, you see the glowing eye with the black, like, stone mask with the tentacles wrapping around the back, the long purple and greenish robes just staring down at you with a hand raised, with these greenish tentacle fingers now just held out in front of you, just looking at you, going, I thought that got you downstairs. Yes. It's time for payback. How far away is he? He's about ten feet away from you. Ten feet away, he's gonna whip out a shotgun. Yep. He's gonna fire first to sell. It's shoot down. First down. shell. One he's barrel or both? Using my first attack to fire one barrel. Got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any gun is I, I will stuff. say that you won't be able to make a second attack with your maul because you would have to swap weapons and guard. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm wielding my. Well, I'm, okay. Like, that's the weapon I'm wielding. Just yeah. swap. Usual rules, act swap to use an action to swap. Um, yeah. So 13 plus 7, so dirty 20. Dirty 20, absolutely. So I will be using a combat superiority, my trip attack. Got it, go for it. All the stairs. Oh, succeed. Stop it, yeah, right there, I think it's squished. So 2d8. Four four. Oh, and they have yeah. to make a strength saving throw. I will make strength saving throw. They are not very strong. That's a nine. That's failing. I'm being knocked prone, so that will be 18. 
piercing damage. 18 piercing damage. You got it. <laughs> Let's see if okay, it's 50 50 shot, they fall down the stairs. You want, okay, I'm gonna roll a d6, you want three or lower. If I can find a d6. I'm gonna roll a three. Who's getting squished? You fire the shotgun into this guy's legs as he just stands over you menacingly. Oh, I'm sorry, I a concentration check on the uh, roof of the How much damage was it again? It was 18. 18 without piercing oh. damage. Yeah. And concentration check is half, half the damage, so it'd be nine. nine, but it's also 10 if it's higher. Yeah. Okay, so DC 10, you check. Plus two. That's cocked. That is a natural 20. Oh! Um, you fire into his kneecaps. He just falls forward onto the stairs and just goes thud, bang, 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 and falls down. And he just goes, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, spells can do a lot. He's going to take another d6 damage and have to take another concentration check to hold Hunger Cigar. So he rolled down the stairs past me, right? Yeah, past you, back down the so stairs. So you'd have to go back into the darkness area to hit him. Yeah. You cannot no, see. Oh, okay. him? I'm really a ranged weapon. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't his move, like he didn't want to do it I don't know. Like, or it could be that that like, it would usually take a second for someone to fall down the stairs. Would it be possible that I open fire on him while he's rolling? Right. It's, it's not like he's instantly at the bottom of the stairs. I'm already giving you extra damage for Fair falling enough. down the stairs. We're going to say no on okay. the attack opportunity because it is technically a range. Yeah. Alright. You still have another attack left. <laughs> so he's in the darkness now. It's it's not an area of inky darkness. Now that you're out of it, you can see into it, I believe. Uh, no, it's just black void. I believe that creatures within a sphere are blind. Yeah, but it doesn't actually say that it creates an area of darkness. It's, it's, yeah. it's not, it, it might not be the spell darkness. It, it might, might create darkness, but I don't think it creates like... Like a well, shadowy mist almost. Yeah. yeah, no, like you can still semi see into it. Like you can see it's not it. impossible to see into it, it's just yeah. like. Just people inside are blinded by the tentacle magnets. Oh, and I imagine him himself would not be affected, or would be affected, or we're gonna find out, I suppose. Um, do I still see him? I think that's yeah, you can see him. How far away is he right now? So you rolled down the I mean, he's only like five feet away from you. Like, you went a little bit up the stairs, and then he fell down. So he's like five feet away from So you. I'm just gonna move, like, what, what room movement I have, just another five feet so I don't have disadvantage, and then yeah. he's prone now, so I have well, advantage. You on. used all your movement to get out of the... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So he's still like... Okay, so I would have, because... Because I was at the bottom of the stairs, so he's at the bottom of the stairs, I'm like, should be partway up the stairs, because even with halfway movement, I should move at least 50 feet. Yeah, that's what I said, so you moved... Okay. You were blinded, so you're going up the stairs. You'd have to get to the top of the stairs in order to do that. The stairs... So I'm imagining. Okay, fine. He's ten step. feet away from you right now. Okay, I'm just thinking the long. You don't have any movement left. I understand that. Yeah. Um, I have my second round still in my barrel. I'm gonna fire it with advantage. Attack. Yeah. With advantage, bro. I don't want to use all my security dice though on the guy that's not Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was it's 2, 12, so 12 plus 17, so That's 19. Yep, so... You think it's 12 plus 17? Plus 17. 17. Plus 17. <laughs> 17. Uh, oh, 29. Oh, I forgot there would have been an additional 4 damage. You could have forgot that. Thanks, there. Okay, I'll do an extra 4 damage then. Yeah, and then I'm rolling. Plus 4. So the damage? Seven. Okay. To be real with you guys, he's not doing great. <laughs> um, I'll be then just- Oh right, more concentration. So that was plus four... Maybe ten. Ten? Oh, okay. Can someone could pull the spell while prone? Yes. Okay, I'll spell. Okay. That's a natural 19, he's good. It's really DC 10. Yeah. I'm then going to destroy- Is half the damage you took, or DC 10? Jorn's going to then just use his bonus action to reload the shot. Yep. As he just kind of folds the barrel down and slides two more shots. Area. I can't see. 
You can't see, but you hear gunshots going off. <laughs> slightly <laughs> down towards the gunshot. Oh, right, there are gunshots going off. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> These gunshots we might have to get a battle map. No. <laughs> hey, guess what? We have a battle map right this there. This is not going to be a small encounter. Do you want to do it now? Or? Uh, after this round of combat, when we get back to the top, that's when I'll do it. Yeah, sure, yeah. I aim towards the gunshots. Okay, you walk towards the gunshots. When bump into Felix a little bit, you move past. Uh, what um, are you? That <laughs> uh, vengeance. You inevitably stub your toe on a on a fleshy mass that's lying on the ground. It's a problem. <laughs> Does it feel like a crowd of chainmail? It is not armored. There's no it was a vampire. No, no, she was not. I'll keep going then. Okay, you step over them, you start uh your speed is forty feet. Yes. Okay, so you're able to clear magical darkness. You get to the staircase and you look behind you, and you see a man lying on the ground with a, a, a black stone mask on with one eye illuminated, just shocking gray with these purple and green robes. It's probably the person you were stubbing your toe on. You see the inky, dark tentacles just all over the room, just kind of caressing everyone. Sorry, you no, you were outside the range, so you're fine. Never mind. Uh, how far away is he? Like... If you're standing next to Jorn to be out of the, uh, out of the radius of the spell, he's ten feet away from you. But he's so far away. You know what, I know where he is, I'll enter range of spell and try and stab him. Are you just gonna stab him? Yep. Walk yeah. in, stab So walk. you are gonna make an attack with disadvantage. What did you capture? Do you get these brown? Uh, advantage because, yeah, so you so, flat roll. Yes. Flat roll! Little little uh, 23. That definitely <laughs> <laughs> and this is a I like how, with a spear gun. Two hands are long. One. Okay. I like how this uh, guy seven. is at the top of the stairs all menacing like, and then basically just did I got <laughs> shot in the kneecaps and fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> shot him with the jab taps at pretty much point blank range with a shotgun. <laughs> oh I'm sorry if it hurts. <laughs> Is he close you walk up and stab him in the stomach as he's just lying there, and he goes, "Oh!" <laughs> His little like bubble of uh, <laughs> non-lethal that comes in. Non-lethal. That's not like non lethal Non lethal uh, Yeah, concentration check for ten. You non lethally stab. <laughs> Six plus two. Uh, the <laughs> hunger of Hadar stops, and all of you can see again. <laughs> I see target. Uh, <laughs> without a dagger, bonus I can stab again. Absolutely go for it. What? Oh, wait, it's broke. You have advantage though. <laughs> well, that's shit. 15? 15 still hits. Oh, damn. Now we're uh, 5 damage. 5 damage? He's <laughs> at 1, isn't he? He was at 5. Did you say non Yes, non lethal. How non-lethal. do you stab him non lethally? <laughs> Legs, arms. His knees are blown apart. You just stabbed him in the stomach. You walk up to him now, you just take the dagger and go bonk, and he's out cold. <laughs> Combat ends. For Combat now. Ends. Uh, for now. <laughs> for the moment. I stay blessed. You stay blessed? But yeah. what? Just in check. Just in check. You go for it. I am. That's a natural 13 plus 6. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What is your first instinct to do in seven seconds after this? You spare you medicine checked. I am going to rush up to the group and be like, "We need to get out of here now," for the fact that he just shot his his weapon. Okay, what are you doing? I'm right gonna now? look at the vampire. The quick, we need an immediate exit here. I'm gonna look at the vampire. Are you okay? That was not good magic. I'm fine. If we need an exit. We can either go upstairs. Back the way we came. All of you then hear the scraping noise of metal on wood. As you look behind. What do you do when you hear this noise? You look for a source. Look for a source? I'm gonna ready and look for a source. Ready, ready, I'm, blast. After that. You don't get an action for this. Oh, not. Just a- what do you do? What is your first instinct? Because that w- running up and talking to them, that was your move. Ah. 
Oh, so yeah, I look around. Stand in front of the vampire. Got it. Swapped his mall. Okay, since you swapped your mall. You look down the corridor towards the staircase that was on the opposite hallway. And you see a figure in black armor appear with this massive thin great sword being dragged on the ground. This helmet with a visor pulled down, face mask pulled up with these blindingly glowing red eyes staring at all of you. With these sharp spikes coming out of the top of the helmet with these kind of poles of like cylindrical metal making up the back of it. And you just hear... Isn't this interesting? And I'm gonna swap to get a battle map ready. <laughs> Alright. As Valkyr Gat makes his first appearance across the hallway, we're going to re-roll initiative. I don't think we rolled it first one. Uh, we but we did with Stoneface. We did with Stoneface. And... That is so much better. 19. 18. 18? Okay, one second. Let me roll stuff first. I think I'll roll first. Unless you roll higher. Dirty 20. Yeah. Why is there people in my I wasn't in your way. You can go diagonally. There's still people in there. But it, uh, I okay. was defending by the yeah. No? Yeah, too many things yeah. now. Diagonally, is that 10 or 5 feet? 5 feet of movement. Okay. Okay. Just keep that, you know, it's like a maximum value. Ariana, initiative. 18. 18. Vengeance. 14. 14. Fields. 20. Sean. 19. What is your dexterity score? Plus 4. I get to get 3. You will go before that. Alright, good. Okay. I'm a rogue with one plus three deaths. I'm going one plus three deaths. Oh. Sorry, you said you were nine. Nine. Sixty. We have to slip in there. 60. Okay. Uh, yeah, hold up. Uh, no, wait, I thought 120. Ta ta! So, guiding bolts 120. Um, so, I think all my spells can fit. And if that doesn't work, it's one spell. So, we okay. can. What is the range on Marco for the movement? The neighborhood is under. Something was in our range. There's a range. It, it, it is long, 100, 100 feet. So, from oh, me to Valkyrie. Okay. Literally. Every couple of seconds with it, you get the faint sense of a heartbeat just floating on Not coming from him, but like in the aura of. Let's go! That's not stuff. It's their magic item. Oh. Oh, their sword? No, not the sword. Oh, with their <laughs> item. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, shall we begin? Felix, you are going first. I'm gonna use my little bands here, I'm gonna hex him. Bonus action. Isn't hex 60 feet? 90 feet. 90 90 feet? I just looked at it. Do you want me to show you? So you, need to you do need to move a little bit closer. Do I? Yeah. 10, 20. Yes, yeah, so you are 110 feet away from him right now, so you gotta close 20 feet. Alright, so I'll, I'll like, I'm gonna move 20 feet up. Bless you. Thanks. I can't believe 20 feet. Oh, 20. Skin 20, so you are now parallel with the door on your right side. Yep, alright. I will hex him as a bonus action. Okay, do I need to make a save? Or... Uh, you <laughs> place a curse on a creature you can see within range until the spell ends. No. Okay. Um, he just takes an extra d6 necrotic to the target whenever you. Hit it with an attack. Also, choose one ability. Blah blah. Um, I'm gonna put a black ring under him quickly so that it shows his text. Cool. And that. It's up to an hour. Not that that matters. Oh, I need to move faster if he dies. Yeah. 
said no. But that's a that's very big if. Anything else? Um, yes. I will be casting Guiding Bolt. Oh, that's two levels though. Shoot, right. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast? So I can make two attacks because five. Yeah. Two blasts. One will not hit. Um, spell casting. It should be about eight. Five. Plus five. Yes. Yeah, so twenty something and and eleven. Eleven, is Eleven one. definitely does not. Yeah, that's minutes. what I thought. Uh, twenty. Is that twenty minutes? If you're twenty-five. Right. Like how much damage? Uh, I, ha- I did not roll. I just. I'll just blast one d ten plus one d six. Yeah. Why plus one d six? Hex right. Necrotic damage. Specifically these. Do you want you me to specify? No, it's on. Uh, for necrotic damage. Yeah. yeah. Once force, once a Okay. Yeah, you will need to specify. Three necrotic, three force. Okay, so he's gonna take four. Oh damn. He's moving to something. Or resistance, resistance, something. Resistance to force. I realize I haven't been adding my additional additional I mean, plus two to my ranged weapon attacks besides my fighting our archer. I mean, I fighting to see if that works. It hasn't mattered up to this point. Well, but... he is. Um, he has been okay. like using undead, so necrotic's probably the thing. After that is Jorn. Alrighty. Jorn's going to move up. He's going to move up 20 feet. 20 feet, got it. Uh, just directly in front of you? Yeah, directly in front of me towards Valkyrgak. And how far away is Valkyrgak, though? Uh, after that, it would be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's you just short range. And it's short range. have to move. Jordan's going to bonus action swap, quickly swaps to the long rifle, and yeah. he's going to stare down at sights, and he is going to fire around. Okay, fire the long rifle. I'm going to need dexterity for him. This will have. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. One, two, three, three, four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. Alright. Oh yeah, so roll an eighteen, so that's a crit as well, so. Jesus! Yeah, so that crits. Um so a D twelve double damage? Uh yes. Yeah, okay. uh, no, roll two D twelve. Two D twelve. Okay. Yeah. Are we gonna come up right next to me? So Jorn's special view new specialty weapon the long rifle, a immensely powerful firearm from Bassadrai. That crits are natural 18s, 19s, and 20s. Hey, you were going to beat it. I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining to the people how it works. Is it only the base damage that's doubled or the end? Because I can add my security next. Uh, yeah. It is. It's dice for the damage. Do you get to pick to use your superiority dice after you roll the hit? I do. That's what okay, I decided. Okay, so then yes, it will, also be, it will be double the damage on the security already die. Alrighty, I'll add the security already die. <laughs> Got it. Um, uh, the maneuver I'll be using is the trip attack. Okay. Which will be a knock prone on a strength. So I add 2d8 to it. Um, yeah. uh, he's also... He can use the d12. She's... Yeah, that's his special Twenty-three, twenty-four, five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one piercing damage. Thirty-one piercing damage. Um, strength save first. Yes. Plus a shit. Uh, what was the DC? Fourteen. Uh, sixteen. Uh, so he does not get knocked prone. Um, Ariana. So he took the thirty-three piercing damage. Ariana. Oh. When Jorn fires the shot, nobody else sees this. You see a flash of white and gray light that 
seems to almost slow the bullet down in midair, so when it strikes him, it does far less damage than it should. Do I see a positive? When the flash happens that slows down the damage, you get that heartbeat sense on the mark of the attack. So that's one. Um, did I see that through the ultra No, you did not see that happening. Are Anything else? Um, I need to have another attack, but I feel like I should hold on to my round. So, Jordan's just going to hold his position. Okay, got it. Hold in position. After that. It is the man himself, yes. but the creature himself, itself. Yes. She's always going to get me. He's starting. He's kind of my range of them. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Right. He but is going to be on the way to Why not? He's um, going to. Because of Villa. Yeah. He's trying That's to kill us. Him. He's trying to kill us. As Valkyrie moves forward, he's going to use a person manifestation. No. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So he can move forward 30 feet. Then, because you did it to him. Oh no! Felix, he's gonna cast Hex on you. Oh! <laughs> okay! This feels weird. So you're Hexy. just gonna get a little inky blob as well to show that you're hexed. Uh, what checks for Hex? Oh yeah, we I didn't give him, uh... I'm gonna do... Uh, it's not saving throws. Uh... Oh. Yeah, strength probably. Uh, he is going to give you is it disadvantage on saving throws. No, just checks. Just checks. That, that's why I'm like I can't do charisma. Yeah, he'll give you disadvantage on constitution checks. <laughs> oh, I should have known that. That's not. I mean, like actually, it's, it's not bad because it's not on saving. Yeah. But She's yeah. gonna put us in a position where we, a contract is needed. Oh, this is all like medicine. He's gonna drop. Okay. After that, because he can't move anymore, it will be. Ariana. <laughs> How far away is he from me? Uh, he is. I, uh, I will make vengeance smaller, okay? Such as I look at it, it's like. Size yeah. We're about teeny tiny little stairs. Right. You're about the same size. Well, little baby. Oh, I didn't roll it shift for the vampire. This again. She's very few things. Okay. Uh, Ariana, it is mm. uh, I'll cast Celeste on the three of us. Myself, uh, Mary, and Felix. Okay, so three of you are blessed. What's that do? He four to attack the face. Ooh! Really? Yeah. So, on the, um, Valkyrie Axe turn, how far did he move again? 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay, alright. Uh, I heard 40, 40 feet. That's a 30. I heard 30 feet. Well, I moved him 30 on the board, so he moved 30 feet. Yeah. Um, Why? Um, Do you want to move up 40? Uh, 40? Uh, Just in a straight line? Uh, half but yeah. There we go. Uh, pretty cool weather, right? Is that a pitch? It's saying on spell. Um, yeah, after blessed. that, it is... Vengeance. Vengeance! Vengeance! Um. Well, I can't really get. 
So I will use a crossbow. Absolutely. Make your crossbow. Is it to attack rolls? Yeah. Not to damage. No. Yeah. I get my gift. Uh, that's actually a unnatural 20. Unnatural 20? That will. Uh, okay. For a total of 6 there. Maybe. One bonus. 10 feet is 10 feet. It is 10 feet. Okay. Sorry. How much damage? Uh, 6 damage. Whew. Sorry, guys. It's an AOE. You guys are going to have to keep up with me. Okay. Does it look like that? I think it's an AOE. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, you're fucked up. After that, it is Lassilin's turn. <laughs> <laughs> you does He doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, not, not to a sit, not to a fifth level. Wait, wait a good deal long for that. Lassilin uh, is going to actually. Step onto the stairs five feet. And then she'll just cast magic missile. Chicken. What level four is that? First. She is tapped out. Yeah. But it auto hits and deals force. It's sorry, it's three D4. It's D4 for each missile plus. Plus one. Plus one for each missile. for each missile. Okay, so that's basically that, or one d four plus one multiplied by three. Uh, so you see her like flare up a hand, and it's fluffy, flight in the air, and they all slam into and do a good amount of damage. Did they slip? They didn't. One d four plus one. Uh, the darts all strike simultaneously. Yeah. So a dart deals one d four plus one. Yeah. Uh, she rolled very well, so that's 8 plus 5, which means it takes 13 damage, putting him in his hex. Solve for X. No. Please, no. <laughs> you were not expecting the math portion of the combat! I did enough. Thank you. I did enough math this year, I don't want to see the word math again. Uh, after that, top of the I realized that the uh, spells. Uh, uh, Note it now, I realized the saving throw for the is increased technically to 15 now because my stats changed. Got it. It was 16, so we will still lose. Yeah, still lose. Uh, after that, top of the round, you're back to Phoenix. Hello. I will now. Guiding mm-hmm. Bolt. Okay, for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't really have anything else I can do, so I will slash off a squat, a squat, a squat, a squat. <laughs> um, that's dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, Guiding Bolt deals yeah. 4d6. Okay. And whoever attacked next has advantage on the first attack. Yeah. Oh, actually, 5d6, because one of them is a product. Yes. Because of hex. Uh, which one is the hex? Uh, I was going to do the actual, the one that looks like it's necrotic damage. Uh, so three necrotic. And then the rest of them are radiant. Okay. So, let's see here. It's nine, twelve radiant. Twelve radiant? Okay. Yep. And then uh, he glows. <laughs> Glowing. Before the end of your next turn, uh, in the next attack roll made against the, this target before the end of your next turn, has advantage. Thanks to the mystical dim light glittering mm-hmm. on the target until then. So he is glowing dimly with a radiant glow until the end of this turn. Yeah, uh, until the next attack or the end of my next turn. I will then pass the turn. <laughs> I'm just frightened work again. Just one double check. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls against the while the target is visible, while the frightening thing is visible, and, and they can't, can't move. Willingly move closer. Yeah, willingly move closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. it's Jorn's turn now. Yeah, it's Jorn's turn. Yeah. So Jorn's going to bonus. So he's supposed to see these parts here. What's the way? Yeah. Jordan's going to move forward 20 feet next to Arena there. Got it. Ariana. Ariana, whatever. Um, and he's going to open fire for another shot. The long guy pulled out with advantage. Oh, right. Uh, Ariana, when he goes to make the attack, you see that flash of light happen again, and you see the glow disappears from Valkyrgag, and you just place it back. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll point this out. Yeah, you're gonna point this out? Alright. Does Jordan see any of it, or does it completely do it? You just see the glowing stop. You see no flash of light glow disappear. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Jordan <laughs> is going to make his attack. Ten. 12, 14, 15. 15, 15 does not. Alright. Uh, as you uh, crack back a rifle and fire off, it just <laughs> rings off the zombie. Alright. Ding! 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 Anything else? Jordan's going to try to fire another shot. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Okay. After that, um, it, Jordan's going to also use bonus action to swap to the other shot. Absolutely. Okay, Valkyrie. Okay, which means he's probably moved. Oh. Valkyrie. That is not. So Jordan's right now next to a repaint on the map. Uh, yes, I missed the question. So there's 15 feet away from dungeons. Oh, uh, 10, 15, 20. Oh, yeah. oh, that means he can get them within range of you. This is perfect. Yeah. How delightful for him. Um, Valkyrax is going to move up 30 feet to right in front of Jorn. As he walks past. Oh, no. All three of you, I'm gonna need each of you to make a DC 15 wisdom D4. It's a save. Just sorry, uh, what are you doing? 3 With, uh, Wisdom saving throw, you add a D4. Uh, oh, uh, he does. Oh, oh, sorry, you do not. Yeah, I just. What did you get? Uh, 18 plus. Yeah, you're good. Not one. 15, you said? Yeah, 15. That's 12 plus 6. 12 plus 6. Okay, you're both good. Alright, Sean, you're frightened about. Alright. Um, frightened, I'll give you a little red circle. 
Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna stop doing this because I'm not gonna be able to separate them from the tokens. Uh, okay, uh, he is going to make. Okay, he's used a curse manifestation, which means it's up to damage. <laughs> For our own party, what's going on? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he has no. 14 hit dice. That on d4. I will jump. I forgot how much weird keeping track of stuff it was with this class. Uh, he's going to expend. You're the one who made it. Yeah, I know. Three hit dice. <laughs> going to actually yeah. okay. First. So he doesn't need to play them until he actually needs it. Uh, it's such a Dragging the great sword behind him, he takes it out and goes to swing. He's right. going to make two attacks. Oh, sorry, he's going to make three attacks. Oh, what? <laughs> Actually, wait, no, that was the tough that was for you guys getting on. So he's gonna make two attacks. <laughs> that is a uh, storm. No. On Jorn, yeah. So that's a thirteen and a twenty-five. Still only twenty-five things. Okay. Uh, I need you to make a Constitution check. Just to check. Uh, Would it be a save? So. No, it's a just a check. Five. Uh, five. Jorn dies. Cool. Um, and then because you failed the check, you also take the D eight on the cry. And he's gonna use three hit. He's gonna use three hit. Going down to eleven. No, going down to eleven hit dice. I know. <laughs> um. I need D eight. How many? What I get that? Uh, so that is. Uh, as he goes to attack you, you see a bunch of dark red blood just flow out from his armor and wrap around his sword, and he just slashes into you with it, and you feel all of it just blight your soul. Oh. Uh, he's also gonna take nine damage from the attack. Yeah. Uh, so he goes down to two. Uh, he's gonna take nine damage from the attack. Uh, just a second, I gotta add it up total. Uh, yeah. suddenly you're done. Yeah. I like that. So, you are going to take nine... Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, he rolled really well. And this is just the one attack. Yeah, I mean, how take much? Twenty-seven. Did? That's he has twenty-seven hit points. Oh now. shit! Yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, it's a little hard. Yeah. Yeah. He does, but that's only because that's only because he has three things stacked on it right now. Uh, and you failed the Constitution check. Two fighters, as well as yes. like, I don't think you can do that that powerful again. No, for quite a while. Oh, stuff uh, happens. Next turn. Uh, he walks up to you and slashes you with the great sword. You drop down as the product blood just splashes everywhere. Um, you also have five people, some of which can be healed. He is one person. Um, after that, it is Ariana's oh, yeah, I, I can I can also help because I have all this action healing. Yes, we do. It's just we want to spend. Your max hit points is thirty-three. Thirty-three, yes. Is anyone below that? That's why I said nope. earlier when I said this nope. is a much more closed space than I was expecting to use him, it's gonna be a problem for you guys. <laughs> so that would be like. Uh, Hello. But you lose the fear because it goes down to zero. True. Maybe I'll get my fear. Oh, you're on my fear. On you're here. unconscious. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, I had 27 hit points. Oh, crap. Yeah. 
Martin, do you want me to gamble or do you want me to kill you for a straight 16? The uh, healing probably would be ideal. Okay, both healing. I mean, gamble. 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 Just gamble. 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 Okay. I'm at zero, so it's like... Just don't roll the one point. They just roll. Wait, you're... No, you're at zero. This is the one that will be efficient. Jorn, you heal for 16. 16. Jorn was 16 is away. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Uh, that's Channel Divinity. I will cast Spiritual Weapon and smack off the guy for it. Okay, I need a token for a Spiritual Weapon. Yay. Let's see what it buys it. I'm just going to use this generic outline to represent the spiritual weapon. Oh, that's a oh, big wow. spiritual weapon! Oh. Generic outline of a holy symbol. What does your spiritual weapon look like now? Is it just right next to the Yep. It's still the first before. Got it. Oh, the angelic first. being holding the short sword. Uh, you're hitting Valkyrie? Yep. Go for it. Yeah, that is twelve plus it was six plus one. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen hits. Go on. So that would be not cruel. <laughs> that would be eight damage. Eight damage. Sure eighteen plus. Um, yeah, just to hear God. Uh, sorry, is that eight damage? <laughs> yep. Be honest. Uh, you are within five feet of him, but you're not making the attack. I'm not making the attack. Yes. So then that doesn't. Matter. I'm gonna run. Run, 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 Unless he stacks up the stuff like I, I don't think it'll take at least like 30. 18? To hit? Yeah, to hit. Yeah, okay. He expends now hit dice, make a constitution check. Check. Uh, 15? Uh, 14, sorry. 14? Oh, it's interesting. Check or save the Yeah, so you... Is that a save the or a check? It's a check. Yeah, it's might be useful here. Ouch. Just gets now I'm hexed with constitution. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> uh, you take 10 slashing and 4 in a front. So, is he 10 in population? Yes. Uh, wait one second. It fails, no matter what. So this is the 8. Uh, got it. So Bless is gone. Bless is gone? Mm -hmm. uh, honorless Brutel is not its room. Gust is not its room. Gust is 20 or more damage. Okay. And now he cannot deal 20 or more damage. So you're good. I'm glad I'm good, but not terrified. Yeah. Okay. He's got things. He's got 14 player levels. He's yes. strong. Um, I move back by 20 feet. Absolutely. You move back to 20 feet. Spears so weapon is still in his face. After that, it is vengeance. Okay, he walked past. <laughs> Notice me. Stop it. You didn't shoot. Try and shoot him for thirty points of damage. I shot him for six. Yes. <laughs> shoot him for thirty points uh, of damage now. Do I need to? Because Jorn is on him. Do I get advantage? I'm gonna say no because Short is prone. Oh. But. The spiritual weapon I'm going to say is imposing, so I will give you that. Okay, cool. Wait, just aim for your triple dice. I think I want to go... Ah. So, so uh, he will get sneak attack. He just did it. Yeah. It's just he gets sneak attack. Right? Yeah, I know, I'm just saying he gets sneak attack. So I'm going to move up to him. Yeah. Uh, I'll just move, I guess, five to the right. Five to the right? Slide to the right. Slide to the right. Steady, steady. Um, so I'm gonna try and like invoke confidence <laughs> in this. Not not for me. I mean, like you, you, su you succeeded against his, his fear check, so it makes sense. Well, I'm gonna try and like show that this is a battle we can like watch. There will be that moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I could. Yeah. And else you do not have advantage. You don't have advantage. Oh, not with not that. that sneak attack. Yeah, just have sneak. So. 
No, less than five. Yeah, it, out of the yeah. it doesn't hit with the dagger. It's if you're if it's it's not. Yeah, the first one doesn't. Um. Okay. Bonus action. Keep. Sorry, it's just a devil on my shoulder telling me what to do. No, that one doesn't. Okay, you missed both. Damn. My turn is over. <laughs> okay, after that it is the silly. Who is that? A spell? Close to it. She only has close to it. She might not survive. I feel that I'm allowing one thing. I don't think we're going to win, but I think we're going to run. That boy can be a total open. She's going to start moving in to get down and dirty. Um. I wish I didn't phrase it like that. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 15, keep showing a line, but you're going to keep going along the way. He just keeps taking one of these kids now and he's going to like three turns. Uh, he, I can uh, heal him 1d6 plus 3 damage. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, she's just going to do that for now because she's not. Why are you ready to get into a tussle with him? So 1d6 plus 3 damage. Yeah, so that's 1d6 plus 3 damage. Yeah, 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 that's 1d6 plus 3 damage. Hello, I will move back away from the monstrosity that is this monstrosity. How far? Or are you going to go into the room next to you? Ooh. You know what? Okay. Instead of moving that, right, because I forgot the room built in. Yeah. I'm in front of the door. Of course. Yeah. Right I am going to... Getting bolt. Okay. Uh, nothing. No, no, nothing added. No, nothing subtracted. Let's go. Straight roll. Yes. Oh wait, his DC is eighteen. Eighteen. A nineteen. Yeah, you hit. Eleven plus eight. Wait. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm making sure. Hex is still on him, so necrotic. Plus one, two, three. Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need five. Five guys. That went there. all the way over there. <laughs> I don't know if it's under your feet, Carter. Oh. Uh, it's under like the lid of your back. I'm not counting that one. Uh, all right, unless see, you yeah. want to count that one. I'm not. I'm just trying to move it close to you so you can pick it up. I'm trying to move it close to you. Yeah, I got it. Uh, okay, so for radiant damage, I got. 8, 10, 13. 13. Which means save it. She is. Uh, he takes 15. Um, and then necrotic damage was a roll of 6, so I'm thinking he takes 3. Uh, takes a roll of 6. Yep. Yeah, so we'll take more. Yep. Um, after that, I will move into the room. Depending on what I see in there, I might move him further. Uh, you move into the room five feet. Uh, you see a wide, expansive bedroom with various just knickknacks and curios throughout thousands of years of history. It is an overwhelming splendor of items and just... Imagine in your bedroom right now, you have a lot of knickknacks of, like, things you've just gotten over your lifetime. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if you've lived for thousands of years how many of those would have just littered around a single that is what you're looking at. In the center of the room, there is a large... In the center of the room, there is like a large four-poster bed. Right there. That big bed? Yes. And then on the other side, there is just a couple of tables with mirrors and various items on there. It looks like there's also an office space in the back corner. It just has a couple of different uh, scrolls laid out across it. Hmm. Not yet. No. Are you I'm... gonna move further into the room? Uh, I might move another ten feet into the room. Okay. I'm, uh, does the door swing close behind her? Uh, you can open. leave them open. I, I was gonna leave. Them. Okay, you leave it. And um, I can't ready an action. So I... is uh, hex line of sight? No. Nope. Uh, it's line of sight to cast it, but uh, it's concentration to keep. Okay. Got Upwards of an apple. Oh, I haven't been doing concentration. Yeah, he fails it on the first one. Um, yes. Oh, I... Because when he hit him with 15. Um, I don't have 
have hex anymore. Like, like he doesn't have hex on me. Yeah, he doesn't have hex. Sweet. No, I should have rephrased that. Okay. So much different. <laughs> Anything else? No. Um, because I can't ready in action. As as bonus action. Right? You can pick up now. No, you can't. You pick now. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. Okay, Jordan, you are prone on the ground in front of him. Jordan's gonna spend 15 feet of movement. He's gonna like, you pretty hit pretty hard there, my prey. He's gonna use um, a bonus action and he's going to second wind. Second wind, okay. I'm gonna regain 8 hit points. 8 hit points, got it. So let's bring in 24. Um, I'm gonna move back ten feet. Ten feet? Okay, you're gonna take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Right. Great. Jordan's moving back to his turn. And Jordan's only gonna be raising the shotgun and the aim at him and is uh you like fear, huh? And um he's gonna fire one barrel first. One barrel? Okay. Ten to eleven. Doesn't hit. So I'm gonna move my second attack. Okay. With the shotgun as well. This is like well. just hitting me instead, right? Or is it just bouncing up the armor? No, it's just like it's being absorbed by the armor and they just okay. kinda of like dissipate after this. Okay. Sixteen seventeen, just short. Seventeen? Okay. Then Jordan's going to roll back another five feet. Another five feet, got it. Moving back. Okay, oh. <laughs> well, my tanks have been in me, but that's okay. I have lots of help. I have a ranged tank. <laughs> okay. The other tank's a ranged tank. Um, just beginning the of Valkyr Gax. Turn and you turn over D8. Good choice. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna die. Um, he is going to look back at the vengeance. <laughs> um, he is going to spend a hit die to manifest. <laughs> Wait. Um. Uh, he takes his offhand off the sword and just slams you in the face. Make a strength save. Strength like a little I use my action. Uh, spare. Uh, oh, there you go. Where were we looking? Uh, it's uh, what was nine. Nine. Okay. Um, as he slams into you with his hand, all of your skin. Uh, Begins to just feel heavy and oh, weigh yeah, down oh. until you're forced yeah, you're, to be knocked prone. Uh, you are knocked prone for the next minute until you can succeed the save. Um, Goodbye. He is then going to walk away from you, and he's probably going to move to going into the room to attack me because I attacked. No him twice way I get an opportunity. That just He's looking at You do get an attack of opportunity. Oh, just at, at what am I going to stab his toe as he walks yes. away? You can deal shake his cat of D four. You oh. will. You will still get sneak attack. Oh, disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, right. No, but I meant because he'll still be technically threatened by this. No, but disadvantage. Don't worry about it. Right. I only rolled seventeen. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I only rolled seventeen. Uh, well, yeah, it's eighteen. You rolled a three. How did you roll seventeen? Eleven. Oh, was it this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. he's gonna move forward and just try and eviscerate this. Yeah. I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh, he is going to expand and you Oh no, yeah, no. How, much, how much damage did I take, sir? Or did I not take it? You didn't take any. Ooh. You're just not prone until you can. Basically, just did a trick maneuver on you. I like you. this one. <laughs> uh, expand oh. three more hit dice. Sorry, but if you're not going to save the. Oh, if one of these hits. Yeah. Because I like his healing magic. Oh, wait. He's going to hit oh, with oh, both yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, and he used he's a curse gonna... manifestation, so he's going to deal an extra d6. <laughs> and then he can do that. And he also has 3d4 necrotic. 
which in turn is still one. They are resistant <laughs> to this temporary magical attack. That is a lot of damage. On who? On the NPC. The NPC. Oh, that's the one we can't kill. 20. Uh, he takes his sword. Uh, he looks at the vampire dead in the eyes, and he just lifts it above his head and just bisects her across a diagonal angle and oh. just slices straight through her chest cavity until she falls apart on him. Well, dandy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Moving on, uh, I'm gonna remove her. I'm gonna remove her from the map. Just a beautiful, oh, quick little attack. Uh, you just, you gotta understand, she was important to us. You just split her, and we move. He's then gonna move 15 more feet, so he's within five feet of Felix. I think the contract. Yeah. Uh, what? Do I have to make a contract? He's, he's within range of me now. No, but he didn't hit. Oh, it's a hit. Yes. Oh, never mind that. Oh, he's, before it was like walk past it. Yeah. No. When, oh, wait. Yes, you haven't been affected by it. Yet, I have so not yes, been. You need to make a. Yeah, that's what. Right. Bro. Wisdom. Uh, yes. And I don't get any like bonuses other than what? just standing roll. Uh, it's a saving throw. Yeah. I'm frightened. There might be a problem. I'm frightened. Yes, you are frightened. Ah. I rolled a six. Like like two plus four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. After that, it is. You can still attack him when I'm fighting. Yes. Yeah. I just can't. Yes, move. it has disadvantage. He can't move closer to you. After that, it is. Uh, you beat the save. And his thing reset. After that is Arian. Check. Lesser restoration. Is there a right? Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure it removes any condition. It's not any condition, that's why the restoration makes this. So I know it's, it's um, yes, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Frightened, Blinded. Blinded, Death, and Paralyzed Report. Okay, yeah. never mind, it does not do Frightened. Uh, that will you can do, you can redo the save at the beginning of your turn, right? End of your turn. End of my turn. Yes. Okay. I will bonus action on the spiritual weapon, harass them. Harass them. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing it. Uh, you can get it within range, 5, 10, 15, 20, and get through the door. Uh, make your attack. That's a nat one. Nat one? Yeah, no, that's gonna miss. <laughs> what happens with the fumble turd? <laughs> uh, it, like, it's a spiritual love. I understand. But it, the golden outline of the person has not been programmed to open doors, so it just starts clipping and can't. <laughs> and then it finally glitches onto the other side, but by that time they can't make the attack as too much time spent. Uh, oh. It raises its sword up like anything else. Oh. Area. Run up and stab. No. Uh, absolutely. That with two hands. Two hands, got it. Oh, oh that's pathetic. That missed the thing. Well, yeah. Wow, everyone's standing in front of the shotgun wielder. <laughs> yeah. Twelve, and then on the top. Uh, okay, you're gonna make some type of you know. Mobile. Ah, screw you! <laughs> He's gonna try and kill you guys. You all stand side to stand in front of him. Hey, I walked away from that. You move back. Oh, you feet. move back? Okay, run up, stab him, run away. Okay, uh, does, does the. Wait, does the. Does the no, the magical. Sorry. The. The holy one? Why am I spiritual? Weapon? Spiritual weapon. I'm so sorry, I just blanked on the name. Does it have a hit point level? Nope. Okay. It is. That mystical little thing. Got it. It's technically not supposed to take the shape of a person, but that's it. Not it. I know, I just meant as like an off magical object that's manifested at uh, a hit point level, because if no. If it does, then there was a thing that would matter, but because it doesn't, it doesn't. It's um, normal. <laughs> yes. Uh, After it that... It exists. It either exists or doesn't exist. <laughs> After that, it is... Anna, Wait, so the is spiritual dead. weapon isn't the physical thing you can no. no. Okay, good. That's Realistically, happened. you could probably move through. Okay. Shoot. I just wanted to make or sure about that because I, I like I want to sell you right for it in the spiritual it is weapon. And that's um, you are prone. Do I need to roll the at the end of your turn? Okay, so she's just gonna look over at the pile of blood. Yeah, the bisected person. Like, she's gonna like just scream out. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Ah, I forget your name! Listen. I 
Blue Saloon? Yeah. She'll be like, Blue Saloon! The person and you only know for like, like five minutes. Yeah. Stand up. It's any person. Yeah. You can stand up. I'd recommend doing that. Well, I can't. You can't. You, you cannot until you succeed the same. You can roll. Really? Yeah, that, this is his yeah, ability. I can't. Are you in that movement? Am oh, I prone or no? You're not prone. Oh, oh, it's a buff roll. If he uses okay, double that, that ability is his yeah, like is his bonus action. action. And then so you move forty five bonus. It oh, is a class ability. A you have to expend a hit dice to do it. Oh. There are things. That, there are things at play here. So, uh, okay. so Kurt, I'm yeah. gonna double dash crawl. So you move forty five feet. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Just <laughs> to her corpse, basically. Okay, she died. I think ten feet in front of Ariana. So. I'm moving the wrong thing. I'm moving out again. <laughs> uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You double dash on top of her bleeding mound. Oh, I'm just blood. holding it for a second. Like, it is two parts. Which yeah. part are you holding? <laughs> upper half for the lower half. You have right? Yeah, okay. Upper head is. And, 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 then you yeah. and then she left. Do I get like a good like, light candle? No. Oh! 16? Is that me? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's rough. Yep. Right. Uh, back to the top. Yes. Uh, yes, which means I need to roll it down. Oh, schnizers. It's still not high enough. Okay. You guys are gonna get it up. So we're still rolling an action reload the shotgun entire, even though we've done bonus action this entire time. Both barrels action. Bonus action one there. Okay, for this encounter. Yeah. For uh, now until eternity, until we're playing a, 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 a campaign where the primary weapons are ranged weapons. Uh, okay. Yes. Would it be an action to pull my sword out of the cane? No. It, it seems like just normal drawing your weapon. I was going to say, just drawing your weapon. It's easy. So I'm gonna draw my weapon. I'm going to cast Wrathful Smite. Okay. So that would deal an extra one d six psychic damage. Okay. On hit. On hit. The next time I hit. Yes. And it's a bonus action to cast. Yes. You are all oh, good. So. Um, and he is still has. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it makes a Wisdom saving. Th- so we'll worry about that if it actually hits. hits. Disadvantage because frightened. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, nope. Got it. Uh, that's seven. Yeah, 13. The, the smite does. Uh, smite does last for a minute though, so it will yeah. hold on until you can hit him. And it's concentration does. Lose. Yes. Oh. Also, yeah. nice spells concentration. Yes. Eh. You're good with that? Yeah. Okay, Valkyrie Act is no longer hexed. Mm-hmm. Um, do I literally have to take my action to run away from him, or no? No, you can just use your movement. But yeah, you don't have like, to like, like no. Do I have to like? You just can't move, move close. away from him. You you can't. You don't have to move away from him. You just can't move close. Okay. There are effects of dragon dragons that frighten you. You do have to move okay, away. Okay, so that's what I was. Yes. Okay. I will. But that's a special case. I will sleep. But for the moment. Okay. And I will regret that decision. Uh, after that, we are back to Jorn. Jorn's going to, looking at Valkyrgak there, he's first going to use an action to reload the shotgun, then he's going to action surge. Okay. So, fully reloading the shotgun. Yeah, fully reload the shotgun. Um, Jorn's going to move to attack, um, first for attack against. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. That's natural 20. Jesus! Oh, I'm gonna you use, got it. I'll use a superiority dice. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna free. use, I'm gonna use uh, the yeah. menacing attack, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. I don't think he has Me over here saving. rolling 16. You can tell what the spell right? I have a plus one. Right. No yep. modifier. Uh, what is the effect? Um, He's frightened of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Everybody's just scared of everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's a natural six, but he's immune to the frightened conditions. So, oh, um, okay. <laughs> you do need extra damage, though. Oh, yeah, so it's four, so it's 
4d8. 4d8, yes. Because it's... 4d8. Yeah. <laughs> 4d8 plus your dexterity. Yes. Does your archery thing also apply to damage, or is it just attack? It just attacks. Oh. A, so a... So that's 15 so far. And you're not to be funny. You're all very good at it. Huh? I might, by running up to seven, I'm running away. I just One, can't even two, move to me. <laughs> <three, laughs> you can't! Five, five, six, Somebody died! 27 piercing damage. 27 piercing damage. And you have that's to save her thing regenerate. I think I'm um, like, oh, wait, with hold, on. hold on, that was my second turn with him, fright, with me being frightened of him. Should I have made a check? Yeah, you should have made a check at the end of the game. Okay, sorry. So, we made your witness. Uh, was Tanya, yeah, when you see no. Jorn's weapons fire and all the shrapnel coming, you see the flash begin, but it's a little more material this time. You see just the spectral arms coming up and catching parts of the shrapnel that just disintegrate, which lessen the amount of damage that it's. Oh, yeah, I'm Got it. Um, it was 27? 27. Okay. Jorn's going to move to his other attack. Okay. So I just want second attack. Yes, make your second attack. Second attack. I'll check. That's uh seven sides on that. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, you are marking your ammunition. I am. How many do you have left of the curiosity? Uh after that pause. Five shots. I mean if you're gonna use them, this is the time. Yeah. Um after Jordan is about to get. Um, no, he's just gonna attack. He's gonna make two text attacks in the two. It is a 19 yep. and an 11. No. Okay. He's gonna use. He is the one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck it, he's gonna use three things. Um, make a constitution check. Oh. You don't have disadvantage because his hex didn't drop. Yep. Is he a Two. Oh, I forgot to roll the dice. It's not asking to see that, bro. Uh, you um, don't see that. Um, constitution check. Yes. Okay, uh, seven. Seven? Okay, that's really good. That's what it is. Hello? Okay, so you're gonna take this and two more. I will say, he's is, he is only at four hit dots now. Uh, so you're gonna take six necrotic. So is he. As you see the blood just ooze out of his armor and then wrap around his sword and then slash into you with it. And then you're gonna take another... Oh, oh sorry. Another point of necrotic damage plus another 10 slash. Hmm. Uh, technically, I haven't gone past my no. max. Mm -hmm. Bonus attack, attack my bats. Schneiders! Schneiders! Bonus action, you can try and manifest weight on you And so, as he hits you with the attack, make a strength. It's gotten better than 16. Okay, hold up. I want to use this one. Better than a what? You don't know. Well, I know, you know, you know, know that uh, you don't know how yes. it's... It has to be at least... But... No, 12. 12? You feel yourself getting... The, your skin just begin to weigh you down as lethargy takes over and you're not prone. Actually, I can do this if it's reaction, can I? Uh, if you have something that allows you to use a reaction. I don't know what <laughs> no, Well, I can use it on the, the attack. Yeah, the attack you can use, okay. Huh? It's a mechanical fence. Oh. 
Yeah, it took me right on my sheet and I thought it was a pen. <laughs> Uh, you put your hand, uh, he makes a duck save, I roll two more ten. Okay. Uh, he is not efficient, he has no Seventeen? Damn it! Uh, eight fire damage. Eight fire damage? Hmm? It's not, it's not. I rolled nineteen. Ah. So, eight. Yeah, she went back. Eight, what? Girl, 19. 18 fired by 2 is 9. It should be 9 by damage. Yeah, I just 9 by damage. We're all good! I can't. I have. We are also running out of time, so let's blow through this really quickly. Joran and die. Joran is going to. Uh, having been pointed out by a ran out of the, like, some, some entity being yeah. there with him, he's going to. Um, he's going to cast Fairy Fire 25 feet in the middle of the room. Okay. So, so how this works is effective. everything in 25 no, radius. Within a 20 foot radius, I can't do where you're just okay. 25 feet from Jorn in the middle of the room. Oh, from Jorn? From yeah, Jorn. it's from his 20. So that's that will be the center of the, of the effect. It's yeah. 20 foot at, around that point. So we so each object in 20 foot cube within the range, outlined in blue, green, or violet light, it'll be blue light. Any creature the area in the spell is cast is also outlined. And light, light fails if, if they fail a dexterity saving throw for the duration. Objects and affected creatures shed dim light in 10 foot. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attack can see it, and the affected creature or object can't benefit from the damage. Let's get rid of the rules. Uh, so I did anything that failed to dexterity save throw, basically. Are you kidding if they're invisible, me? they're outlined. Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh. That one. Yes! Uh, the pointless thing? Yes! Uh, Sorry, so well, do I make a save? Yeah, it's David Brown. Let's try to double check with Jordan's. What do we need? A uh, natural 20 on the save. Uh, hmm? Sorry. It was, it was natural 20 to succeed. No, okay, so what, it, what happens if they do, don't succeed? Yeah, they're just not affected. Okay, that's it. Um, Everything that else? Yeah, that was Falcor Dex saving throw. This is the important one. What is the DC? Let me double check that. It should be your fridge, huh? I'm pretty sure it's for drow though. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're drow. yeah, for yeah. drow. So sorry, what was it then? Christmas plus eight for proficiency. Plus eight proficiency, so eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's Which is both proficiency plus good and oh, bad. For you. <laughs> his, his for you. As you send off the fairy fire, you see this dancing sphere in the air momentarily. This out line of a woman that you recognize from the vision and your painting on the wall. As the fairy fire engulfs her, she suddenly vanishes from the sky. When that happens, Valkyrdak begins to scream intensely as chunks of his armor begin to move as he begins to increase in size, and his wrath begins vibrating the sections of his armor to the point where no part of him is not violently shaking with fear. Bring the spear back! Bring the spear back! <laughs> there is no bringing the spear. That would, no, you can only cast that spell once, so yep. Jorn's just going to break concentration and is going to move. Well, okay. that was a fail C, so it's kind of easy. Yeah, it, it would it'd be harmful to the rest of you. Because the rest of you are affected. Too. The rest of us succeed. Well, you are out of the brain. Either way, we all cease. Yeah. Um, Jordan's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 down the hall, opposite to the stairs. So, so. You're moving away from the upper deck? Away from the upper 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, is it 30 feet? 30 feet. Yeah. Okay. I need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In combat, you always take a moment to take cover and reload. You guys have screwed Felix and then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
I'm sorry, what? I'll do my best to save um, you. Um, alright. Um, well, so okay. that was my action. I I... Uh, yes. Oh, shh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> You're not even Um, hold on. I need... Oh, I'm yeah. Wait, have I used my bonus action? No, I didn't. I just actually you used podcast dead, carry fire. Will that bonus action row load one round into the shop? Yeah. I'm fully awake, at least. <laughs> oh, crap, I can't move stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna that. Mm. Alright, that was Storm's turn. Uh, because you killed this lion. Valkyriak is entering Relentless Fury mode, which means oh, all of his attacks are reckless. Oh, which means he already had advantage. Them. I was going to say, which means all attacks against him have advantage, but all of his attacks also have advantage. He's going to make two attacks against you while you're on the ground. You roll what? Three dice? Two, no, it, it doesn't. No. Stack. Oh, it doesn't. Stack. No, uh, I'm right. assuming a 26 hits. Yes. And I'm assuming a 19 hits. Yes. Uh, he oh, used God. a manifestation, make two constitution checks. Uh, checks? Yes. They don't have disadvantage. They yeah. don't have disadvantage. So 19 and 13. 19 and 13. The first one succeeds, the second one does not. Which means he's only going to do one action. Eight. Six. Eight. 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 Uh, 19 damage from the first attack. Right. Yeah. Uh, 19. That will be. At, I'm at 11. And then 10 damage from the second attack. <laughs> At one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Uh, that is pretty Then he's gonna move. Yeah. That's one. Oh, I meant to spell slots. Then he's oh, gonna walk away from. Oh, I can heal myself as well. He's yeah. gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. Oh. And he's going to oh, use his bonus oh, action oh, to oh, yeah. punch oh. Arena in the face. Oh. <laughs> Strength saving throw. That's a set. Uh, that's a fail. I uh, you feel your skin become extremely heavy as you are knocked prone. Oh. Uh, this way. Sorry, end of your turn, you could repeat oh, yes. your wisdom save, Patent of Fear, and... 18? 18 beats the wisdom save for the field. Now make a strength saving throw for the prone. No, you're so prone. That's a uh, ten, right? Level? No. Yeah, no, no. Uh, for the prone, it's eight. Hey, okay. Can you move us a tiny bit closer, please? Just scroll a little bit, please. After that, it it's is your turn. It's your turn. The party head yeah. is now your. Yeah, it's literally can't move anywhere. So everyone, you Jordan's can, party. Or you can't move closer to him, so you can't leave the room now. Oh. Oh no, you aren't frightened anymore, so you can't move closer. But you can move fifteen feet and move past people. Yeah, but I can't move right now. No, yeah, it's not exactly. Like, That's what I'm saying. I can't no, move right now. You're gonna have to move. Yeah, Arya, you're shut my brother's hair. Five, five, two, five. That's famous. It's not dead. It's not dead. It's a bull. Cool. Is there anybody in the tree at such level? I'm sorry, this guy's a brute! I had. 45 at the beginning of this fight. And then I got hit by two attacks. I'll move uh, so I can see Felix. Yep. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. Preferably without being shot into the Actually, I'll try and smack him with the spear. Okay, try and smack him with the spear. Oh, spear. Uh, 19 or 9. 9. Nine. No. 19 will hit. This disadvantage. 9. But it's, it's a flat roll because he all those attacks are reckless. Oh. So what was the first roll? 19. 19. Then it hits. Uh, that will be 10 damage. 10 damage? Okay. And because mobile, I'll move closer to it so the opportunity attack and because I can't go within B. Because the level healing work. Okay. That is pathetic. Sorry, so where are you? Are you just moving to the other uh, side of him on the map? 
other side so, as close to Felix as I can get. Okay, so like five, seven, seven fifteen, twenty, seven, 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 twenty,
you would let me use hit dice, that would probably count as a short rest, right? No, I said you get to use your hit oh. dice, but it doesn't count as a short rest. Okay, I didn't know that. Sorry, uh, no, you don't okay. have any then, or...? Yeah, you wouldn't have any. Right? Okay, and none left. Okay, sorry about that. It's a weird way to hit, but alright. Well, it's because you're not actually resting, but okay. time does pass. Okay, because, like, yeah, the logic sphere that I don't understand is, like, it's kind of something, you know, you recover. And... Yes, but because you weren't actually resting, I want to give you hit points back for the fight, but whatever resources you use okay. for you. Okay, so 2 d I used one spirit of then, so technically it rounds it okay. Yeah. He's down. Yeah, no, you, you are good. Two ones! Okay! <laughs> oh. He takes how much damage? Uh, one, two, that would be six. He takes six damage. Oh, you're that reaching sucks. very levels! <laughs> um, yeah. Alrighty then. That's also Jordan's last long rifle round. Okay! Um, cool. The Falcon Gap is going to take a step towards Ariane. Uh, you can make an attack opportunity if you want. Why bother? It's flat and you get sneak attack. <laughs> oh my god, a 22? 22, that hit? Whoa, with the dagger! Yes! Where you say 20? Plus steps there, the other six. <laughs> uh, eight plus three, so eleven damage. Eleven what? damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You begin to see his heart beat slowly, Woo! Woo! as he makes two attacks against you. <laughs> 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 Is that, is that an angel? Oh, no, that's I'm a demon. I'm assuming a 25 hits. Oh, definitely. And I'm assuming a 24 hits the 25 hits. Yep. Uh, he cannot use any more hit dice for this, because otherwise he's gonna die. Just do it. Make two constitution chips. That's a 3 and a 19. That's uh, 5 and 21. Okay, so one succeeds, one doesn't. So, uh, he... Did he use Manifest Wave last time? Yes, yeah. on me. Or no, he no, didn't. On me. On you, right. Okay, so he does get another oh, You're gonna take... Five. 15 damage. Okay. For the first attack. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, actually, wait. He's great weapon fighter, so you can reroll those. That might be a problem. Uh, you're going to take... 22. 22 damage for the first attack. That might be a problem. And second attack, he's gonna deal another 15. Uh, he runs up with a great sword and just begins screaming at the top of his lungs. Like any mental acuity that was happening in this man is gone, and he is just a savage monster at this point. He's just screaming and swinging the sword at you. Um, after that, oh sorry, he didn't use no, no, because yes, no, that doesn't happen. Sorry. After that, it is Ariane. That's okay. safe. Ten. You succeed! Congratulations! Vengeance! It's ten succeed. Yes, it's ten one. Yes. Then it's. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's DC ten, meet or succeeds. How oh, yeah, many many successes? In oh, okay. Yeah. What are you asking about? It's your turn. Because Ariane just went. They, they made a death save because they're down. Now it's vengeance. Wow! Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna scuttle him. <laughs> scuttle him. Scuttle him. Scuttle Oh, he dealt more than 20 damage to you. Your strength score is decreased by one until the next level. Fuck! Um, <laughs> okay. They're meant, to, they're meant to multiply to make the same score difficult. <laughs> My strength score is six. We can't, oh, even Jesus. Beat it to be, we can't even beat it to begin with, so don't worry. Uh, okay. Eventually we'll have to just yeah, carry we'll Go it. for it. Or Ariana. Alright, so what's the reason? He is not currently being. Oh, but you have advantage. Okay, nice. Yes. But they. I'm prone. Yes, yeah. so... yeah, sorry. Yeah. But you get sneaking. No, I succeed. No, I succeed. Oh my god, a hit! Uh, 25. 25, okay. definitely. Uh. <laughs> this is what the mom did. <laughs> Help me! Um. 
For whoever her name was. Fuck! Insulin. <laughs> Insulin. <laughs> okay, I see. You did 13 damage. Yeah. Stab him in the foot and he explodes. Is he not? 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 Yeah, One life goes first, you can't die. Life cursed you with immortality. Um. Yeah, I'm going to roll this down. It's plus ten to Constitution saving throws. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well. Your D the DC for him to not die and be sent to one hit point instead. Is equal to five plus the damage dealt. So this is a DC seventeen, which means I need to roll a six or less. With my luck, you'll get it. That is no luck. That is caught. Oh, it's because I'm sitting on an enemy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which means he just makes it. He goes down to With one. I love Don't him. worry. He goes that down to one. Be blasting. Uh, Felix. I'll just blast his yeah. ass. Hit him. Yeah. Uh, you can make an add on check. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I, I, drop one, I drop one of my dice so nope. this first one misses. It's a six. You can re roll it. Yeah, no. That first one was in the tray. Yeah. This one. Dude, 14 plus eight. Oh, Roll yeah. for damage. It's, it's a d10. Eight. And I need one. Yeah, you, uh, you He has one hit point. Yeah, yeah. you kill. Dead. He's eight. That's eight. Four damage. Eight oh. damage. DC 13. That's a natural 18. What? He's at one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, no. Okay, okay bonus action. Uh, healing lights on you. Yay. I have. At least one hit point. Uh, uh, the spiritual weapon is gone. No, it's not. Well, you went down. Yeah, yeah, but spells end. No. Concentration spells end. Other spells last for the duration. I'm pretty sure all spells end when you. Yeah. In that case, major armor's gone. Eight is gone. You lose five hit points. You lose five hit points. Oh, ten or something. Yeah. Shit. Never mind, they don't. Okay, that's weird. I guess like, if you fully die. Yeah, I yeah. guess it's like, if, if it's a full, okay. full death, she, yeah. she's just on fire. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty, how far away is Jordan? 60 feet away from the other half, right? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 65. 65. Jordan's going to move 30 feet closer. He's going to do it menacingly while this staring Valkyr Jack down the whole time as he's going to use his action while walking the load final shell into his um, shotgun, and then he's going to reach to his pocket and potion, bonus action, swoop back a potion of healing. Okay. <laughs> got uh, one potion of healing. It's a potion it, one. So how much is that heal again? Uh, so it was 2d4 plus 4. 2d4 plus 4. That's a key. Yeah. Are you making attack this turn? I can't. Okay, when you're doing that, I'm going to do about three next turn. Then. Just because. He is going to... He's going to make one attack against you. Oh. Let's see. Let's go again. Ten. I had Where are you? But, oh, but are you it? serious? Like a Not ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just your shield, anyways. Who cares? I don't know. Thirteen damage. I might bounce just again. And then he's gonna move over to vengeance and make one attack against him. Ooh. Oh, beating up the down player. First attack against me. Uh, those are both ones. He's great weapon master, so he's gonna be. Those are both two ones again. <laughs> so you're gonna take seven damage. Did you even roll the hit? Oh, make a constitution check. Oh, sorry. I did. I'm like, okay. That's a. 15. Uh, my con. con. wait, armor class. class. It's 14. Okay, so it hits. Make a constitution check. 16 because I'm minus one. Are you kidding me? God damn it! That's gonna be a total of 13 damage then. Okay, I'm still up. 
Uh, whenever you strike him, and it looks like he's going to do it down, you see this, like, matrix of glowing red light catch his guts and then throw them back into his body. Um, yeah. Dispel magic. <laughs> uh, after him, it is Ariana. That's it. That oh, one. Nice. You succeed. Your first death sentence. He's right in front of you. I believe in you. Ariana, you're right next to me. Uh, yeah. I'm a dagger. No. Oh my god, it is the ring of the dog. I'm not throwing shit the whole night. I don't know where. Nope. Yeah, okay. That's a two. After that, it is. Back to Felix. You're down. Yeah. I still have Leon Hess. I do have Leon Hess, but that cuts an action to Right. I mean, Jordan's approaching. Oh, oh, that's last miss. Got it. <laughs> Any, anything else? Oh, sorry. Bonus action healing light. That's my last dice. Okay. Uh, does it uh, need to break your strength? Yes, you can stand oh, back up. Oh. Six, does, uh, six plus Nothing. one does not. Uh, healing light heals five to you. Oh. Back up. Back up five. And that, that is my entire turn. Question, should I be doing strength saves at the end of my turn? No, once you hit zero hit points, it just auto stops. Oh, oh man, I wanted you that. Can <laughs> <laughs> then you fall back down. You should have killed myself. You come up, and you <laughs> fall back down. Jordan. Okay. Jordan's going to, so he's how far away from Valkyrie Gek is he now? Uh, yeah, not down. 25. 35, so 20 feet closer, so he's 15 feet away. Minimum shotgun range for good, like, shots. Yep. I see he's still, like, raging, right? So, like, I have yeah, no, he is... He is insanely in like, serious. Five turns. Yeah, no. It does not end. Until until he dies. It does not end. Until he dies. His corpse is still raging. Firing both barrels. Go for it. So, I got to... So 11, 12, 29, 14, 19, 16, 17, 20, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Oh, yep. Yeah. Now, <laughs> we're my, yeah, now we're talking. Now we have a chance. That's the first time I've ever fired both barrels at yeah. once. And it's <laughs> hella thematic. What is it? You did not. <laughs> this is a natural 19. Oh! <laughs> we have 29. <laughs> Blast his chest splintering open. Wait, how many attacks is that? Has he done it yet? Is that. One. So I could. One, have... two. <laughs> Three, four, four. Yeah, four. Because Arena did one with her spiritual weapon before she was dead. She yeah. is at one. <laughs> that was his last hit die. So that's oh. the last time he can do that. So well, hold on. You're that was my first attack. Can I bonus action load one one shell in and then use my second yes. attack? He's gonna fire load one shell in and oh, do his second go. attack. Who needs two shells? shells? I like how he's done this whole menacing approach, chugs a potion. No, you shows. bonus action to... Yeah, before, before that, that was the last turn. Yeah, that was the last We've had so many, oh, we've had a bunch of turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a lot melding of together. So uh, that's 11, so one way or another I'm going to hit. So that's why, yeah, I'm definitely going to hit, oh. so... Sure, I won't even make you roll there. Eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just... How does this happen? Jorn, after basically doing just the slow walk toward him and like loading the shotgun, chugging a potion, yeah. is just gonna, after firing both barrels at him, flicks it open, puts it in, flicks it back up. But he's going to blast it and he's gonna have Dr. Dak's head just explode with the shield part of his mask flying in his direction and he's gonna try to catch it then in the air. I'm not a human. You catch it. <laughs> he catches it. You have the face of the helmet in your hand. <laughs> he is dead. Woo. 
Go for it. Go. Sorry, what? What do you have? What do you have to say? That is dead. Uh, they, they need to make a con save or take some radiant damage. He's dead, so it yeah. auto happens. Or just as his body falls to the ground, the armor, even the piece in your hand, begins to rust and fade away. His mask disintegrating in the his sword blade disintegrating and falling apart. The hilt clattering against the ground. You cast Word of Radiance and the entirety of his body begins to disintegrate from death and fade. Jordan's going to be like looking at his hand and like the last bit of dust like blowing out of his hand mm -hmm. is a like as he kind of like stutters for a second and can you identify why this happened? Uh, you take, you grab the sword. Yeah. Are you doing it stealth for me? Sure. Make a stealth check, make a perception check. That's it. Nat one, so I don't think I know oh, at all. <laughs> That's better than that <laughs> one. Technically better than that one. I was gonna say I'm gonna go grab to the stone but mask. Can well they disintegrated. The so armor disintegrating so, you not imagine is separate from his body disintegrating. The body disintegrating, you can fairly clearly see Ariana cast a spell. I'm not grabbing yeah, the just whisper a word. His mask. Oh, never mind. Make away. another stealth check, though. 21. Perception. Yeah, it's not going to be a 21. Do not know why it's happening. It may just be the nature of his body that when he dies, he fades to nothing. Storms going to enter basically like a rage as he realizes he cannot fully prove he got the kill. Yeah. But then he kind of pauses and starts to think, because he starts to strategize, and he's sort of... And right there, that is where... I'm just gonna take one of my daggers, as as it's, yeah. like, turning to dust, I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna yeah. take the stone mask with the follower. Yeah, you take the stone mask. <laughs> If you can do it right now, Jordan. Jordan is basically going to that, and is like, I might still be able to say, the disappearance of Valkyrie wouldn't be a coincidence. He'd still probably return, convince them, and that's when he's gonna like, all of you, he's gonna say, yeah. it's been a pleasure. And then he's going to move his way out, out of the stairs. And the way you the, came? The way you came, and... But like he's been moving ahead of the party. We can't tell him that's the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're gonna <laughs> leave it where we're going to end the session oh. tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have been waiting to do that forever. Oh, Woo! We survived! We should have somehow we bloody survived. I that, like oh. six times. Yeah. Like, was... Because every time I rolled whether another enemy would enter the room, it did not happen. <laughs> Oh, uh, if if another en enemy entered the room, we would. Oh yeah. Dead. Oh, death. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I hope you please have a good night. If you would like to empower yourself to create such delightful homebrew content as Cursed Knights and Evil Warlords, you can go to five oh five oh five oh one group shoot uh, in order to get yourself some D and D books, magic, anything you want that is typically nerd related. Wait, so much in. Please have a good night yeah. and enjoy yourselves. Bye! Thanks for watching us all almost die. Bye! Hello, people of the Reliquary Tower. This is Carter, the DM and editor for Carminian Chaos, and as you may have noticed in the title, this will indeed be the unplanned final episode of the campaign. Unfortunately, myself and other members of the group have reached a stage in life where maintaining the series has become unsustainable. Thank you to everybody who has watched up to this point. We hope you have enjoyed it as much as we have producing it. As a part of the end to Carminian Chaos, the channel as a whole will also be entering a hibernation period, but we hope to be able to get producing again as soon as possible. Thank you for your support and hopefully your understanding. Please enjoy yourselves, and have a good night.